Mars is the world next door, the nearest planet on which human explorers could safely land. The Planetary Society, with Cornell University astronomer Carl Sagan as its president, is the largest space interest group on this planet, with some 125,000 members in over 60 of Earth's nations. Since its foundation, it has supported research and sponsored or co-sponsored events and meetings like these Case for Mars conferences. On July 18, 1987, the Planetary Society brought together American and Soviet scientists and engineers for the Together to Mars space bridge, linking Boulder, Colorado with Moscow in the USSR. It was an unprecedented four-hour, two-way video discussion. The Society's purpose was to stimulate interest in robotic and human missions to Mars and in the desirability of coordinating American and Soviet space programs in cooperative missions. There were satellite up and down links in both countries, multiple cameras and crews, teams of simultaneous translators. American engineers for the first time saw pictures of a possible Soviet roving vehicle to go where Viking never trod. Oh, look at those crazy wheels. The Planetary Society's space bridge later aired as a public television special in America and on Soviet television and in Japan. Broadcast together to Mars. I think this was a more frank and open discussion of the Soviet thinking on manned space flight and manned missions to Mars than has been on the record before. So. Well, I'm, I'm really pleased. I mean, I'm amazed we got some terrific new ideas, new things we're going to follow up on, like the engineering, joint engineering model on the Martian surface. But beyond sending robots and returning samples, there's the goal of sending humans to Mars, which has been a dream far longer than it's been a technical possibility. In 1981, the space shuttle returned American astronauts to orbit, and serious interest in human missions to Mars began to rise. Later in the 21st century, there might be greenhouses and experiments to grow food, and to process the Martian atmosphere and rocks to provide fuel. After centuries of dreams, we humans would be on Mars. We would be the Martians. The Planetary Society is working to advance the future exploration of Mars as it has since its foundation, as part of its support for a balanced space program. The Planetary Report has devoted many special issues to Mars. The Society has commissioned research on human missions to Mars, and its officers have repeatedly testified before Congress. Partly as a result of the Society's efforts, over 40 editorials in major newspapers across the United States have endorsed the vigorous exploration of Mars. And this year, the Planetary Society has circulated a Mars Declaration, which has captured the imagination and signatures of a strikingly diverse group of Americans, both leaders of opinion and regular citizens. To add your signature to the Mars Declaration or to join the Planetary Society, contact the Planetary Society 65 North Catalina Avenue, Pasadena, California, 91106. Dreams are maps. It is time to set sail for the 21st century. <laughs>